5 a.m. is hard. It took me seven days to wake up at 5 a.m. on time once. Seven days of hitting snooze, rolling over, I'll do it tomorrow, getting up at six o'clock instead of 5 a.m. All of that takes time. And it's listening to that voice in your head that's like, what's the point? Like, don't do it, don't keep going, like just sleep in, turn off your alarm. There's... But it's turning that volume on that voice down and listening to the voice of, why do I wanna start this morning routine? Waking up early gives me enough freedom to just relax in the morning. It allows me to get one of my goals or habits done. Now we're gonna dive into what makes a good morning routine and you can either implement it at five, six, or 7 a.m. Let's get into it. First off, the whole point about having a morning routine is to essentially help set your day up. It's a set of habits or tasks that you do in the morning in order to set your day up for you to be happier, more productive, more efficient, excited for your day, whatever it is you wanna get out of your morning routine, that's the reason why you're doing it. The three benefits of having a morning routine, whether you started at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., or 7 a.m. is number one, increase productivity. Waking up earlier gives you more time to get stuff done. And especially if in your morning routine, you put in some of those, either the things that are most difficult for you. So writing is the one for me. Getting up and writing first thing allows me to knock that off my to-do list right away. So it's not looming over my head being like, you have to write today, you have to write today. Or if you are, if you have a fitness goal and usually by 3 p.m. you hit a wall. So if you get to 3 p.m. and you haven't done your workout that you wanted to do, you most likely won't get to it. So if you wake up and you knock out that workout, then you will be set for the rest of the day. You will feel productive and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I've already got everything I wanted done this morning. Number two, enhance time management. Because you were so productive in the morning, you're gonna have more time to allocate to other areas of your life. Maybe you can pick up a hobby, go meet a friend, or do something differently in your afternoons. Because your morning routine was just so productive, you now have more time on your hands. And number three, improved mental health. So your morning routine, if it includes either exercise, journaling, mindfulness, breath work, anything that really centers you will help your mental well-being. It will allow you to stay in the moment. And if you're like me, who I overthink everything. So breath work and journaling have definitely helped me, one, get everything out of my mind through journaling. And then breath work has actually allowed me to center myself, to stop thinking and just focus on my breath. Those are just three kind of your basic benefits of a morning routine. Now, let's get into the time. What time should you be waking up for your morning routine? Because we all see the aesthetic 5 a.m., 6 a.m. morning routines, but the hour you wake up doesn't necessarily matter when it comes to setting a morning routine, as long as the routine you are completing benefits you. I wake up at 6, 6.30 all the time with no alarm. 5 a.m. is just an extra push for me to get more done and to feel more productive and use my time to really accomplish my goals. So 5 a.m. made sense for me to try out. Will I stick with 5 a.m. every single day for the rest of forever? No, probably not. I have my morning routine. I have a 5 a.m. version, a 6 a.m. version, and a 7 a.m. version. So on the days that I wake up at seven and I only have two hours till my workday starts, it's going to look a lot differently than at 5 a.m. when I have four hours before my workday starts. And this is probably why you haven't stuck to a morning routine because you're either forcing yourself to get up at an hour that doesn't make sense to you, or you are getting up so early and like me for the last week, I smashed that snooze button. I was like, you know what? This is just too difficult. I don't want to do it. I did get up at 6.30. I did do a small version of my morning routine. Everything was shorter. So instead of doing a like 30 minute exercise, I did a 10 minute stretch. I still read for 10 minutes and I still set time aside for writing, but I didn't do a full 30 minutes. I did like 10 to 15 minutes. Having the ability to adapt your routines is what's going to allow you to do them long term. And it will also help you stay on top of it because if you're an all or nothing person like me, if I said that I was gonna wake up at 5 a.m. every single day and the minute I didn't wake up at 5 a.m., normally I would write my whole day off. But because I'm just aware and I'm over my own BS of like, you must do everything perfectly. No, I'm not gonna be perfect. 
we're just gonna keep rolling, okay? We're just gonna keep moving, we're gonna keep trying, we're gonna keep taking action. But if I don't wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow, I'm not the end of the world. So over the last week, I did try to get up at 5 a.m. So like I said, I struggled with this so hard. Biggest takeaway I had from waking up at 5 a.m. was just a, like, a feeling accomplished. I got so much done. I felt like I had so much extra time in my day that it just, like the day felt nice and easy and all of the things that I wanted to get done were done in the morning. So the rest of my day just felt like easy breezy. I could kind of just follow my creative energies and we were good. That's kind of like the main benefit of waking up at 5 a.m. for me. The three downsides to waking up at 5 a.m. for me. Number one, going to bed earlier. So I usually go to bed between like 10 and 11 sometimes. Sometimes if I'm scrolling or reading my Kindle, it'll be later. And so doing this, I had to be in bed like around 8.30, 9 o'clock in order for me to actually be asleep in time to get enough hours of sleep to wake up at 5 a.m. And this is truly why it was a struggle is because I did end up staying up to like 10, 11 most nights. I did actually, I mean, I think I went to bed at 9.30 last night, but I woke up quite energized and my alarm went off, I hopped out of bed, it was great. Your body learns to adapt. Like the more you do things, you will learn to adapt to do it and it will feel easier. But yeah, it's going to bed because sometimes I just like, like decompressing in the evening. But if I want to wake up um, earlier, you do have to go to bed earlier as well. The second thing, I kind of touched on this already, is sustaining this long term is really not possible, which is why I kind of pivoted from doing just a 5 a.m. routine video to a create your morning routine at whatever hour you choose. Because yeah, there were some mornings where I woke up at like 6.15 and I was like, normally I would berate myself. I'd be like, you missed your alarm, you hit snooze, like how dare you? And I looked at my clock, it was 6.15 and I was like, okay, we start now. Okay, and number three is that the days do start feeling really long. So for me waking up at 5 a.m., that's four hours before my workday starts. So like that's a lot of awake hours of like doing things and then pivoting into like work mode. There definitely was kind of this like feeling of like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be such a long day. Like long-term waking up at 5 a.m. every day will not be sustainable for me, but I'm gonna ride this wave. And then I think I will do kind of like a 6 a.m. and a 7 a.m. routine, but I also wanna try an evening routine because I've always been a morning person. I've never really tried being like really productive in the evening. And that's essentially the point of this video is that you have to try and then adapt as you go. Listen to your body. If, if you've been trying for like two weeks to wake up at 5 a.m. and it's not working, maybe try to wake up at 6 a.m. Maybe try to work up at, wake up at 7 a.m. And obviously this, all of this goes into if you have a commute, when you have to leave the house, like there's so many things that you have to take into consideration. I work from home, so I literally come into my office when I have to start work. This is your sign to make a morning routine. It can work for you no matter what time you get up. Because like I said at the beginning, the whole point of a morning routine is to put tasks in your routine that set yourself up for the day. Whether it's to have more energy, be more happy, mindful, present, excited productive, whatever it is that you want out of your day, those are the things that you want to put into your morning routine. So that is everything that I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit like if you can hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. I will see you in the next one. Bye!